this is gonna be a power on test of the iPhone 3GS versus the iPhone 4. iPhone 4 right here, the 3GS is in the white case. Alright. Um, and then I'll go over the outside differences after I'm done with the test. And this is the iPhone 4. This is the 3DS. This is the iPhone 4. Okay, so the iPhone 4 loaded up much faster. So we'll take that out. And we're still waiting on the 3DS. Okay, so the 3GS is now loading up. Uh, I do, in fact, need to sync it up with iTunes. Not that I didn't, but I was not syncing something and I just decided to take it out. So, it's all good. Okay, so I'm just kind of going to dim down this light. And so here's the 3GS device. Um, I did like the 3GS, but now with the 4 out, uh, there's really no comparison, uh, it's almost like an instant choice to go with the 4, uh, not getting the apps and everything on the 4 are definitely, uh, better, but you, you expect it to get better, um, as time goes, plus the little overhead review. On the 3 yes, the volume rocker on the left side, same thing with the 4, left side. And the power buttons are different on the iPhone 4. The power buttons on the right side, on the 3 yes, on the left side. Home button, same place. The only difference is the two. Now there's three speakers on the iPhone 4, as opposed to two on the 3 yes, now there's three. Um, the 4 has. Um, a front and back facing camera, which is a plus and a 3GS. Um, the 3GS only has uh, a back, which is a bit of a downside, but it's all good. Uh, first, let's just get in on the 3GS here. This is a nice look device, but as you can tell, uh, I did buy it later, so it was only actually available in 88, which sucked at the time, but now that I have my 4, it doesn't really matter. Thickness, pretty good. I don't care about it that much, that's why I'm doing this, but I, I, I don't know. It's a nice sleek device, but it, it, like I said, it's older, so... When an upgrade is available, you should. Thanks for watching.